All right, today's a shorty. Let's talk about a new playlisting trick that I started to use recently. All right, so I have this session open from a previous episode that I recorded a few minutes ago. So I'm just going to use this one as my example. But basically, the idea hinges on a couple of things. So when you're in Pro Tools and you're creating playlists, so you're doing multiple takes. So this usually comes up for me when I am working on either ADR or music stuff, right? Um, what happens is when you create a new playlist, it will auto create the playlist with a number after it, which is cool, right? So now I have my playlist. Um, if I want to view my different playlists with my different takes, you can see the previous one down here that I just, uh, it's not really archiving, but it's kind of like archiving. I don't know. Um, so anyway, you can see it there. And so I have my normal one and then I have 01. And if you keep going and do multiple takes, it's going to be like dot 01, dot 02, dot 03, dot 04, right? Cool. So basically, um, when we get multiple takes, oftentimes we're then talking to either like a producer or a director or we're talking to the band about which takes we like. And then we have to communicate with others. And so what happens here is if this is my first take, it's kind of like take zero. And then my second take is take one. And so you might be seeing what the issue is here. So when I'm communicating with like a band, for example, and they're like, oh, we really like to take three in the studio. Can we listen to that? Take three for me is going to have a dot O2 behind it, right? So it's not a huge thing to work around. I've been working around it that way for years. I just mentally flip it back or the band figures out that that's what I'm doing. And then they start talking to me in my terms, which is really cool of them. But what I've started to do is if I return to this original playlist and I, let's see, delete this one. So now I'm in my original uh, state, right? So I have one take and um, I'm ready to do another take. Um, what I will do is when I start the track, I didn't do this for this because it's just a podcast and this is actually just imported uh, audio from that's been noise reduced. So... <laughs> I'm just going to have one track. And I knew that I was just going to have one track for this. One take. Sorry. Um, wording. Blah. It's been a long day. So um, what I'll do is I'll go dot one and then I hit OK. And so now my first take is dot one. And now I've kind of hacked the Pro Tools system. So I'm using Pro Tools's Pro Tools's uh, naming conventions. Right. So when I then go to create a new one, it's going to go dot two. And now I go to create another one it's going to go to dot oh three. And so now when I go to communicate with someone else who is not me, um, I can easily communicate with them about which take is which. So dot oh one is going to be take one for everybody, right? Dot oh two is going to be take two for everybody. So now I'm not working on a different number system than everyone else. So that's it. That's the idea. Um, it's another shorty. So, so, you know, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you guys have been doing this for years and I'm just really slow to the party, but um, I thought I'd share it just in case there are other people like me out there who hadn't started doing this yet. So other than that, I would really appreciate all the stuff that people on YouTube love. So like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share my channel with people that might be interested. I would really, really appreciate it. And other than that, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. We started a Discord server recently. We have started a book club on the discord server we've really been chatting and building each other up and helping each other out and it's becoming a bit of a community which is what i always wanted so i'm really happy with it um so if you want to check that out again it's patreon.com slash kato noise and other than that i come out with a new video every wednesday and thank you so much for watching okay i think i got a little too excited about this idea <laughs> but that's okay Oh, I got my coffee on a little tiny coffee hot plate now. So I have warm coffee even when I get distracted from it, which is every flipping day I get distracted and then my coffee is cold before I finish it. So now I have a little hot plate here. So I normally buy whole bean coffee, but I'd started getting kind of lazy and then getting the ground stuff. And then I saw a TikTok where someone was saying how scientists that work with, like I guess a good amount of scientists 
working with lab animals or working with cockroaches of some kind. And um, I know cockroaches, like, they have, like, antibiotic properties on their, like, excretions or something or in their body. I don't remember. Anyway, that's, like, a sidetrack of sorts. The point is these people that work in labs with cockroaches tend to become allergic to cockroaches because I guess there's something that um, can become an allergen pretty easily to humans when they're exposed to it a lot. And so they become allergic to cockroaches. And what tends to happen, according to this person on TikTok, so grain of salt, I'm just gossiping here, um, is they become allergic to ground lots of pre-ground coffee at the same time. And that's because pre-ground coffee apparently um, allows a certain number of cockroaches in it. Like, you know, a lot of processed foods will allow a certain amount of like bugs or whatever to fall into the system and um, become a part of the food. And so these people are becoming allergic to pre-ground coffee because there are cockroaches in pre-ground coffee. And it's enough to give them that allergic reaction. So I now consciously only get whole bean coffee. And I don't know, if you find any evidence that that's not true, I would love to see it um, because sometimes I'm lazy. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I'm done. I'm just doing my bloopers at the last one now. I'm still filming though. You're helping. You're so helpful. You're so helpful. Do you want to say hi to everybody? No. That's rude. So rude. Yeah. I don't know why anyone watches my videos. All right. I think I'm done talking. Okay, bye.